okay so in this lecture we are going to study how to formulate a linear programming problem so this lecture has titled formulation of lpp so let us see this particular problem now and let us try to formulate the lpp so a manufacturer is producing bicycles and tricycles which must be processed through two machines a and b so machine so there are two products bicycles and tricycles okay and uh, those bicycles and tricycles must go through two machines the names of the machines are machine a and machine b so here from this first line i understand that two products and second is two machines okay now let's go for the next sentence what is the next sentence the machine a has maximum hours of 120 hours available and uh, machine b is available for only 180 hours means machine a is only available with us for uh, 120 hours okay and machine b is available for how many hours with us only for 180 hours now these two numbers are very important remember that whenever you read such a problem you must first see what is the availability okay where is it what is the other word gone uh, and this is this here okay so availability of a i'm trying to make a short summary of it okay availability of a is how much maximum 120 hours okay so 100 less so it is available for 90 hours 100 hours 110 hours maximum it is available for only how many hours only for 120 hours what is the availability of b uh, the availability of b machine is how much a maximum of 180 so when i'm writing the answer what i will do is i will start preparing a sketch here okay so 120 availability of a and availability of b is 180 because they are available for these many hours maximum so i will put a here i will write less than or equal to when will i write it when it is maximum availability suppose it is minimum availability then i would have written what i would have written this particular sign okay this this sign is for minimum availability and maximum availability we will write less than equal to okay manufacturing of a bicycle requires 4 hours on machine a let us gather all information of machine a now okay because this first thing is for a and second thing is for b a bicycle requires 4 hours on machine a and 10 hours on machine b so this this design i will use for machine b what is the second sentence manufacturing of a tricycle requires 6 hours on machine a but 3 hours on machine b so what is a uh, so what is the data about machine a i will write everything about a in this first part what is it 4 hours of a so i will write 4 here and 6 hours on a so i will write 6 here so oh, this is the data for a what is the data for b 10 hours of b first year okay and uh, next is 3 hours on b okay so some so what is missing here here we know that x and y are missing so if i insert x and y if i insert x and y here i will put as addition of this now the question is that what is x and y so what is x what was x read here 4 hours where is it gone F bicycle requires 4 hours on machine a so this is 4 hours so who must be x if x must be the bicycles so what is x so in the solution i will write let x be number of bicycles and what is y we we know we have two products what is y 
wise number of tricycles. Okay, and these are the constraints. And number of bicycles is zero or one or two or three. So number of bicycles must be greater than or equal to zero. Number of tricycles must also be greater than or equal to zero. What is missing in this? Missing is the in this is objective function. Who is objective function? We know that we have to also write objective function. Objective function is Z. Equal to objective function is usually in such word problems related to money where you see the numbers of uh, like prices cost. OK, so what is the last sentence? If the profit is rupees 65 for bicycle, so 65 and for bicycle, which alphabet is there? Which variable is there? X and 45 for tricycle. So it must be plus 45 tricycle means 45 Y. Formulate the LPP to maximize the profit. So this is the complete uh, complete LPP. Only here I should say that since I want to maximize, I will instead of just writing Z, what I will write is objective function is what I want to maximize Z. OK, so is this uh, clear now? So I will repeat. So how did I started? I will I first checked that is there availability in the problem? Is it maximum availability or minimum availability? Those two numbers were inserted here. Maximum availability hoga. So this will become less than sign minimum availability hoga to ye sign ulta ho jayega right kiska availability a ka yaha pe kiska availability hai b ka so this entire line will be for only people of a that is why from the problem i underlined all the parts which were related to a so this part was related to a and where this part was also related to a so I inserted those numbers four and six here. For B, I saw the numbers were 10 on machine B and here I had three on machine B. So I inserted those number 10 and three. I inserted X and Y, added them. OK, and those became my constraints. And you know that these two conditions will always be there in our problems. In, in all word problems, X and Y greater than or equal to zero. Hoga almost. So after that, we have to write what is x what is y so x and y is nothing but number of bicycles and number of tricycles okay and uh, how did i find the objective function i told you what is the hint to find the objective function it is related to money so wherever you see the money uh, the prices those two numbers must be the part of your objective function a manufacturing firm produces two gadgets a and B, which are first process in foundry and then sent to machine shop for finishing. The number of man hours of labor required in each shop for the production A and B and the number of man hours available for the firm are given as below. Profit on the sale of A is rupees 30 rupees 30 and B is 20 per unit. Formulate the LPP to have the maximum profit. So when I read this problem at the very first sight, what I understand is that rupees 20 and rupees 30 is giving me the hint that my objective function should be what? As I told you, objective function is usually related to the the concept of money. So let me leave some space and write objective function is max z because we want to maximize that, right? Max z is equal to how much? 30x plus 20y. Okay. What is x and what is y? Look at look in these two lines only. You will get profit on sale of a. So how much? A, a product is out. How much A gadgets? A, a is what? A is gadgets. How many gadgets of A and how many gadgets of B? So A and B are no what? Number of gadgets. So what is uh, X? 
sorry x and y are number of guests so x is number of gadgets i hope you all know what is the meaning of gadgets and y is number of gadgets b right now we have written the objective function let us write the constraints constraints well, how how do we write the constraints you know i have told you you first write availability right availability whose availability availability of foundry and what is the second availability how much is the availability availability 60 so i will write 60 should i write less than or equal to or should i write greater than or equal to availability so foundry is available for maximum 60 hours so maximum is less than so this is less than or equal to what is availability of machine shops machine shops availability so so this is what is the meaning of availability of foundry and availability of machine that means how many hours those shops will be open okay means there should that is why in this word problem there said man hours available okay means how many how much time these two things will be open so foundry will be available for 60 hours and machine shop will be available for open for how many hours for 30 hours okay now what should i write here so here i will write everything which is related to foundry uh, what are the numbers which are related to foundry the numbers which are related to foundry are are 10 and 6 so i will write it 10 and 6 what are the numbers which are available uh, for the manners available for machine shops 35 i'm sorry i wrote it 30 sorry it is what 5 and 4 what should i write for 10 should i write a x or should i write a y look where is 10 10 is related to a a is having x variable 6 this 6 is related to b and we know b for b we have written y plus what about this this same thing 5 is related to a and 4 is related to b so here i must have 5x plus 4y and what is the last constraint always i told you you have to write non negative constraints x greater than 0 y greater than 0 so these are the so if you need not write this this is your rough work okay so this finally becomes your formulation of lpp okay so in this question we have uh, a company manufactures two types of chemicals a and b each chemical requires two raw materials p and q so there are four things a b and p q then the table is given here now the company gets a profit of 350 and 400 by selling one unit of a and one unit of b formulate the lpp to maximize the profit so as soon as i see the problem i know that my objective function here is going to be what objective function is max z which is related to money which is 350 x plus 400 y what is x what is y what is x 350 selling one unit of a means 350 will be number of units of a and what is y number of units of b right what is the availability what is what i am writing now i am writing constraints 
availability is 120 hours and 160 hours. Availability of whom? Availability of P. So first constraint is availability of P and second constraint is 160 which is availability of Q. And since this is a problem of maximization, we will have here this is less than or equal to what? Now here I have to write the data related to P. What is what are the numbers which are related to P? Numbers which are related to P are 3 and 2. Correct. So this will be 3x plus 2y. Notice what should I write here for 160? Here I have 2x plus 5y. And what are the standard non-negativity constraints? They are x greater than 0, y greater than 0. Because number of units of a and b cannot be negative. So these are called non-negativity constraints. Okay, so this is the formulation of this particular LPP. I hope now this is understood. Okay, so diet of a sick person must contain at least 4000 units of vitamins, 50 units of minerals and 1500 calories. So it is at least. Next is two foods. So we have three things in this problem. One is vitamins, then other is minerals, and then you have calories. Okay. Two foods F1 and F2 cost rupees 50 and rupees 75 per unit respectively. So as soon as I read this line of rupees 50 and rupees 75, it clicks in my mind that I should write what? minimum of z this is minimization problem min z is equal to what 50x plus 75y okay what is x here itself we have that per unit of two foods okay so x is number of units of food one number of units of f food one which is food f one and what is uh, a y y is number of units of food f2 okay so this line is over now what is the minimum thing that is required for problem of maximization we have maximum availability okay for problem of minimization what do you need you need at least something so you have to when you are looking at a problem of minimization try to search the words where you are, you have a thing called as at least do you see the here you have a, it must contain at least 4000 units of vitamins so i will write here 4000 at least so I'll write a greater than equal of what of vitamins. Then 50 units of minerals. So at least 50 units of minerals. And then what is the next thing? 1500 calories. So 1500. So remember. When the problem is of minimization, you must write greater than or equal to one. This is about what this is about your calories. Now let us whatever is related to vitamins, we will write it here in these two places. Okay, let us read the problem now. What is related to vitamins? Each food of F1 contains 200 units of vitamins so i understand i should write it 200 here okay what about vitamins in the second place you see here 100 units of vitamins food two so here i should write 100 
so the vitamins numbers related to vitamins are over and what should i write here at x here for food one and y for a food two now what are the words which are related to numbers which are related to minerals now here for food one i will see that one unit of minerals so i will write one and anywhere i see minerals we see here we have two units of minerals so i have two here and here i have an x and y what about calories so for calories uh, you have 40 units of calories so i have a 40 here and here i have 30 units of 30 calories so here i have 30 so i will write x and y here and these are the uh, constraints what are what are these called constraints so we write subject to we write subject to constraints and what are the last co uh, constraints remaining they are called as non-negativity constraints you should put this okay non-negativity constraints what are the constraints they are x greater than zero and y greater than zero what is this person called this is called objective function okay so this becomes the formulation of the above problem okay so the next problem is a doctor has prescribed two different kinds of feeds a and b to form a weekly diet for a sick person the minimum requirement see here you have the minimum requirement so means at least so what is the minimum requirement the minimum requirements of fats carbohydrates and proteins is 18 28 and 14 so what is the minimum requirement 18 28 and 14 so you have three things here you're going to talk about fats you're going to talk about carbohydrates and you're going to talk about proteins and it is the minimum requirement so as soon as I read this numbers, I understand that when I write my solution, I must have how much 18, 28 and 14 as minimum requirement. So it is 18, 28 and 14 as your minimum requirement. So which sign should I put here? Because it is a problem of minimization, I must have a greater than or equal to sign. Okay. What is this 18 uh, related to? This 18 is related to fats. This is related to carbohydrates. And this is related to proteins. Okay, so all information about fats, I will fill here in my problem. So let us see. One of the unit of food A has four units of fat, so four here, and one unit of food B has six units of fat. So I should write here what? I should write here four and six with X and Y. What is X and Y? We will understand what is X and Y. Then now, now let us write about carbohydrates what do you see about carbohydrates what information do you see about carbohydrates 14 units of carbohydrates here and here i have for unit b food b is 12 units so i have a 14 and a 12 here x and y here next is about proteins what about proteins eight units of proteins in first food uh, i'm sorry sorry here eight units of protein in the first food and again eight units in the second also so you have both eight x and a y non-negativity constraints are x greater than zero y greater than zero subject to constraints what is remaining most important thing is remaining that is objective function it is minimization of z equal to what is minimum what is the objective function the price of food a is 4.5 rupees per unit means it is 4.5 
x so what is x here it is related to food a so now i should write solution let x be number of units of food a and what is y equal to number of units of food b and what is objective function 4.5 plus how much x plus 3.5 y so this becomes your formulation for the above lpp okay uh, so a factory produce two types of chemicals a and b the following table gives the units of ingredients of p and q per kg of chemicals a and b so there are four people in this problem p and q are ingredients a and b are chemicals as well as minimization requirements of p and q and also cost per page cost per kg of chemicals a and b is mentioned in the below table so this is the table find the number of units of chemical a and chemical b should be produced to maximize the sorry to minimize the cost so as soon as i have this table i see that the minimum requirements is how much 80 and 75 so you know how we write the solution so minimum requirements is 80 and 75 so i will write a 80 year and i will write 75 years since it is a problem of minimization i will write a greater than or equal to this 80 is related to p correct so this is a constraint for p and this is a constraint for p and uh, this 75 is constraint of for q what are the numbers which are related to p the numbers which are related to p are obviously sitting here so that is 1 and 2 which is 1 x and 2 y so which is 1x plus 2y the second constraint is 3x plus 1y so i will write here non-negativity constraints are x greater than or equal to 0 y greater than or equal to 0 what is the remaining objective function minimum of z is equal to costs are given 4 and 6 so it will be 4x plus 6 y okay what is x and y x and y is already mentioned to you in the problem here also it is written number of units of chemical a number of units of chemicals a and number of units of chemical b so this becomes your complete formulation of the above problem